from a city that's played host to 10 Super Bowls. Here's a look inside the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Houston Texans and the New Orleans Saints. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season, Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. That'll be taken in the end zone. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Side, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through didn't happen on that play Second down, here's Watson. And that is incomplete. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. So trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. From the gun, here's Watson. Ooh. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Fielded at the 20. Oh, no. Running right through it. <laughs> no. <laughs> a good return there. Call it 13 <laughs> yards. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. <sighs> So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Four down, four down, check, four down. On first down, it's gone. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. And it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. across midfield and down into Houston territory. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. On 
second down, Kamara. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Camara try to run for it. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. And a gain there of 11 yards. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. back to the 34-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be nice second stop. down. <laughs> I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Try the air now with Goff. Oh, good play. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I wouldn't be shocked at all right now if there's a look of surprise on the big fella's face because he had the route that he wanted, running the corner, and usually he's able to use his body and catch the football, but a really nice play by the defenders, able to knock it away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, here's gone. He sets to fire deep. Oh, and come incomplete. on. He can't hang on. Would have been a nice catch. Instead, it brings up a fourth down. Dang it. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you go make a play on the football. I don't think he's got the ladies. And his kick he is, is good. Barely. And the Saints are going to take a 3 nothing lead. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their history. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. The Texans' offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Oh, and he'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now. Second and short. What do you think? Early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Uh, just a quick pause, buddy. Something happened on my roster. I don't, I don't know what. That's weird. What's this? That was my mind.
They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now it's Watson, the bootleg. Come on, the catch play. made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Again to Henry. And down to the 44, five yards that time. Now look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. Inside the 40 to the 39. Yeah, they get six on tough. the pick up there as the drive will continue. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. First down carry for Henry. <laughs> and able to push his way forward here for a good little game. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. Hey, 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 hey. Watson to throw on third and one. Wide open receiver complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. The Texans with the first opportunity now from the red zone. They have a first and 10 at the 18. Now a handoff to Henry. He's going to find his way forward here for a modest game. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Sets him up first and goal. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, it's working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. Here's Watson. Oh, the ball is in. Watson lost okay. it. The Saints say they have it, and they do. Well, give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but that's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field, and he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. Oh, 
Ooh. First down, Scott. And he'll lose yardage. Yeah, almost took the handoff. The seven yard line. The That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. That Early down work. stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Six man. Louis, Louis, Louis. Here's Goff now on second down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. But he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Saints football to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. Now the big play pushes him all the way out to the 40 now for first down. Sack number six for him on the year. That was good defense. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. A shotgun snap for goal. Over the middle complete. Nice. That's Malone. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. This is Camaro. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. And pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Seems like this defense, especially the secondary, has really been contesting about every throw in this first half. Remind me of a good half-court defensive basketball team. Every time a pass is thrown, they're right there in good, good defensive position, able to affect the play. Here's second and ten now from about the 32. Second and ten. 
on second and ten. Gone. Oh, Looking good play. For Fitzgerald and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 21. I don't think there's no way he can make that play. His guys will get the football back. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at the 20. After the interception, here's Watson. Trying to force it to Hopkins, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 33, and they will take over at the 29-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. About three yards there to the 27. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. time as he's taken down right around the 26. Back-to-back -back runs. I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. The Saints on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and six. Now gone. The bullet throw, but Eight. incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups. Well, and they had so one. They were just unable to complete the pass. You guys are sticking to me. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first. Now this from 43. And his kick is good. And that will make it six to nothing. They got the interception, but very little movement after. And that forces him to settle for three. And it, it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does. But we got to give a lot of credit where it's due. And that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. It's what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire. And they did, holding him to a field goal. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back on the field here. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling. Because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in it, and let him fling another one. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. From up near the 40 now, after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. This guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man.
They'll toss it to Henry. Oh, and now he bowls him over. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. Shotgun snap for Watson. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. He gets this one away. And boy, it's another boomer. This will be taken at the 10. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up. But they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it, because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen it takes a strong arm guy who can rifle it in there and they were able to successfully complete that one so quickly all the way up at the 40 yard line They'll run on first down. Oh, no. And not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41. Credit the tackle there to Uchenna Nuosu. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Throw on second down is gone. Yeah. It's a short one here, the complete defense. to his tight end. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The Saints on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and six. like the throw to the tight end maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size the slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness their speed and their route running savvy they don't need to run another play here before the two minute warning let's see if they do it anyway Running with Camara. 
And a decent gain there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Nine yards on the run there, and it will take us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to New Orleans after this. muster only a yard there and they'll be left with a third and very short typically we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic but in this case how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play a third field goal of the first half not what they're looking for as they come up on third down third down and he's going to drop this off to his fullback and he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22 now that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball not something they usually go over in practice very often in the offense with a first and ten and he's four for four now throwing the ball to start the drive Super 66. they'll run this is Camaro credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker and what that means is his ability to read react and make a play but on that one he looked like one of those guys Take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The Saints on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and five. Goff now looking to throw. Dancing to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Here's Gaw. The quick slant caught, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. In for the score. Thanks, man. And the this, Saints now this is tough. You gotta earn everything lead. against your defense. Now that'll give them a two score it. lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here of the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half. That's fielded in the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. 
Now the Texans offense, they head back out to do battle here. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Just 11 seconds to go in the half as they have it first and 10. On first and 10, Watson. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Ten, two, eight, two, eight. Back to the air, Watson on second down. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. The Texans on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. The final shot before the break, Watson. And it's incomplete. Took Good a hat, shot, buddy. couldn't connect. That so it's halftime here in New Orleans where the Saints out in front. As we'll get you over to Orlando where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. And they will not get a chance oh, to return a this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive. Is they, they score here, especially a touchdown, it's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because... What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. That their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. On second down Ooh. now, Scott. And forget about <laughs> finding a lane. He barely had time man. to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now 17, third and long. Throwing on third, gone. And he's got his man on the out route. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down it's inside the five, all the way down man. at the two-yard line. Here's the Texans offense now, readying for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively, now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because no, tell me. That's exactly what they printed up. 
stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker boards? Yeah, those two. <laughs> <laughs> And on the ground they go. Ah, and they'll get it down line. past the 15. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made. And that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now, the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. They keep it on the ground. This time, it's him. Oh, and he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. On first down, it's Watson. The hook up on the right side to Hopkins. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Reset, reset, reset. Now we'll play fake, and it's Watson. Rush coming, and he's taken down. So one quick, easy analysis about nice. why they struggled took so a far. Chance. <laughs> they keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. Going to need something special here on third and long. After that sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? the gun Watson oh, good play. Able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down a big one there for the Texans 18 yards nice catch right there brings to mind the sentence when in doubt find your veterans he used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans you, you get up in your 30s you're still playing receiver but you're around that long at that position you're doing something right just remember this when he was young he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore now he understands a little bit better And they'll go on the ground. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Ooh. Um. Well, they had stopped him for a loss on the run anyway, so they'll decline that. It's almost a good psychological advantage, isn't it? You created a penalty, and you still couldn't gain yards <laughs> against us. No way we need to take that one. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. After the penalty, it's Henry. Pushing <laughs> oh, forward guys, for three up to the down. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing on third down. Watson. 
Oh, great play. My guy should have made a play there. Game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. Got a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Henry. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. To throw on second is Watson. Pick it. Oh, this one is incomplete. Will Fuller was the intended target, and it's third down. They have not gotten him going at all. Tried to spark something there with a longer throw, unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. The Texans on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and ten. From the gun, here's Watson. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 33, and the return stops at the 39-yard line. Thought they had something going there to break that goose egg here in the second half, but to no avail. Hope was alive until that interception. What a terrific play, taking the ball away after it looked like they were starting a drive. And now that shutout still standing. You know that's something those defensive guys hold a lot of pride on, too. No doubt about it. They're excited about where they are in this game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll try to get the offense going with Kamara. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Field down to the 45. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and ten. And they'll run it here. He'll get only a couple down to the 44. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, 
oftentimes interceptions result. Down, back 22, back 22, two jet, two jet. Now they try the right side here. That kind of running right through it. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Watson now on second down. Looking left side, he's got it complete. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Watson now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Off of play action, it's Watson. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. What a job by this defense all game long. They've come together and really said, no one's crossing our goal line, and they're definitely not going to start right now. You can just see the dejection. Feel like nothing is working offensively. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Here's a carry for a former starter. This is TJ Yeldon fighting his way down to about the 35 yard line. Call it about a gain of three and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Watson on third down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Gordon. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slam. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's Texans football, but they trail here as we get started in the fourth quarter. And now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. Two jet, two jet. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. A gain of three, second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, here's Watson. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Hopkins. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Texans passing game in rhythm right now. Picking up another first. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's Watson. And he's got it. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Three yards is the game that time. Second and goal. 
And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. What a play. And it was like, there's no way he got out of that. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. What a game this defense has played. They're pitching a shutout, so it'd be fun to watch down the stretch to see if their defensive coordinator continues to be as aggressive as he's been all game long. So, man, thanks for watching the stream. Uh, the crowd cool here in the dome reason. making things difficult. Third and goal. Trying to punch it in with him. Yeah, keep him out. Able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Only a yard that time, so now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal. Brandon, it's easy to make decisions from right up here where we are, right in the cheap seats, but let's be frank about this one. This isn't even a decision as far as I'm concerned. They have to go for it here. Field goal does you almost no good as time's running out in the game. If you want to win, you have to be aggressive here. Desperation time. What is it? They're turned away on fourth and goal. And this shutout is going to continue as the defense holds I am again. Out of the woods How does the Saints offense now as they get ready to take over here? Big stop on the turnover on downs to get the football back. And now it's just all about salting this one away. Yeah, just slowly bleed the clock away. Clock's definitely on your side. And, you know, when we talk about analytics in the game, what is this one? The advanced win metrics? Because if you take care of the football here, Bleed the clock down, were they about 95% chance of Oh, yeah, I'd say 95 or better. I, and I know you always say it, every coach does. It's just protecting the football at this point. And knowing that the defensive guys, they're coming after the ball. Ah. They're going to the person. They're going to knock it free. Ah. <laughs> quickly, as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Man. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Again, it's Camara. Oh, get out of the end zone. Shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Chew up eight yards on the carry there, but still fourth down upcoming. And now the Texans are going to stop it as they signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Here comes the Saints punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And now out comes Houston. And last time, they had it fourth and goal. Rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. 
A simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. To throw is Watson. He's going to look deep. I'll make a play. Oh. Ooh. Free. The yeah. I'll take it. The ball loose and brings up second down. Good throw. This there. defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing again is Watson. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On first down, Watson. Throw left side complete. Dang, it's Gordon. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Back to back, nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Oh, crap. Now a first down throw. Watson. They go with the screen. It's Yeldon. And he is going to lose yardage here. Let me the the loss guy of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. The loss of three on that first down pass play, now second and 13. To the air yet again, Watson. Oh, yeah. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Ken Crowley, and he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games, and now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it, and let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. From the 22, here's second and eight. Cut. Cut. To throw on second down is gone. He's going to air one out. Uh -huh. And he's able to grab it. Thought he might have had should have hit the tight end because he accidentally left the tight end wide open. Despite the lead here in the fourth, but I just, I've thrown shots. it to him a lot, so I was like, I, I can't do that. To me, it raises the question of what's right in this game nowadays. Do you sit on the ball and run it because you have enough of a lead? Or do you try and extend it because you always feel like the other team can come back? Extend it. Have some fun. The Saints on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This is third and eight. A man who's been busy this afternoon. It's Kamara again. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called by the receiving team here. So that will leave them with no timeouts left. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how that affects things here in this fourth quarter. Forty-six on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. 
Just a two-yard return there following a punt of 48. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. Heading out is the Texans offense as they get set to take over here. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? Good pass. Holder brings it in over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. He got 29 yards that time. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Now it's Watson. Going up to it. Got a man. God, why caught. did you just inside stand the there? And he will be marked down Holy inside God. of New Orleans 10. A huge play there for Houston. And even 40 yards. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Do it. Do it. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And Good he'll play, take man. this one in for a Texans touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Texans have cut it to within a score. Yeah, double zero. And they're it's able the to run it in and start row, with the battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. Sirline connects on the extra point. So they got one of the two touchdowns they needed. Now for the onside kick. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. And the Saints hands team able to rein this one in. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. Ain't over yet. <laughs> on the ground this is Camara and just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down two yards on the pick up there it'll be second and eight what an advantage having a lead guy to build a defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free but he can also make plays himself as we just saw there this in all probability another run here on second and eight now Camaro, and he got blown up, losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football, and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw, out to the perimeter, Maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. Come here. Now give me the first. Get the first before he's taken down at the third. Yeah, six. not so good. <laughs> It'll go as a game, game of nine, man. and that should write an ending to this one. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. 
so for the Saints, their good start continues as they get their record up to 4-2. and two. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Detroit Lions. Meanwhile, for Houston, Coming they fall for you next under week, the double. 500 mark at 3-4 and four through seven games. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Tampa to take on the Bucks. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody. You always have my number two, though. That was ugly. That's two ugly games back to back. All right, see you guys next time.